Hello YouTube and welcome to the Sierra Pass Railroad channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use the SCARM model railroading software. If you are new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe for further videos on how to use SCARM or for layout updates of my personal layout. Here is a quick 3D view of the layout that we are going to build in this how-to series, so let's get started. First you need to build a baseboard to put your layout on. It won't allow you to edit the layout as easily if you don't start with the baseboard. So what I'm going to do is go to tools, select toolbox, and this should show up. Now there are a few different ways you can do this. You can select a baseboard rectangular and let's say I want one side of four feet and one side of two feet. Click done and that made, whoops, not four feet and two feet, that was all in inches, so it's a four inch by two inch box. Um, so I'm going to clear that off because that's not what I want. Uh, I really want a two foot by four foot box. So I'll go in and I'll type in um, 24 feet by 48, or sorry, 24 inches by 48 inches, and that'll create a two foot by four foot box for me. Now, let's say you're building a baseboard that's not going to have all square sides and you want something on an angle. The easiest way I found to do it is to go to baseboard uh, via coordinates. So my first coordinate, I want it zero, zero, and I'm going to click the plus sign and that'll add it the point there. The next point I want is at, uh, let's see, an X of 48 and a Y of 0. I'm going to click plus, and as you can see, my line has now shown up here and is 4 feet long. Um, and you can double check that by the inches marked up here. You can also change this into metric if that's the way you want to do it. Um, as I'm here in America, uh, most of our boards come in inches, so I'm going to stick with inches. Um, the next thing you'd want to do is select this again we're gonna go we're gonna make this a triangular layout uh, let's just say that's the room you have I'm gonna have an X coordinate of 0 and a Y coordinate of 12 and then I'm gonna click the plus sign again and that'll now give me my angled line down to a one foot wall now to finish it off I'm going to put 0 comma 0 again because that's where my initial point was I'm gonna click the plus sign now I've got a completed square, I can click done, and now I've got a, or not a square, I've got a completed triangle, click done, and now I've got a completed baseboard. You can go to the 3D view, and you can see the baseboard as well. There it is. Super easy to see. I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm actually going to clear it, because I just want a super simple baseboard. Again, I'm going to go 48 inches, whoops, 48 inches by 24 inches, and click done, and now I've got my square. Super quick and easy. There is one more way you can do this. I'm going to clear it off real quick just so I can show you. You can right click create baseboard and this will allow you to pick any point anywhere on the map. Um, it's a little bit harder because you do have to take the time to line it up. So I'm going to line this one up at zero zero. But as you can see, I can just make a baseboard in whatever shape I want. So yeah, it's a super weird one. There you go. It's in a 3D, really strange shape. Um, I'm going to undo that because that's not what I want. I'm going to go back to tools toolbox and I'm going to make that four foot by two foot box. Um, now that I'm done I'm going to just close out the toolbox because I won't need it for a minute and that is the easiest way to build your baseboard. Thank you for watching this how to use SCARM video by the Sierra Pass Railroad. Make sure to like this video or leave a comment below if you have anything that I missed or what you would like to see in the future. Also make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on future how-to videos or layout updates. Thank you for checking out the channel and watching this video. Have a good one.